Hey guys, time for another installment of Subgrub, which is food for your subwoofers. And these are movie reviews that are based on the home theater perspective. And I've got uh, Angel over there. Uh, she's the white one. I got Bear there. And uh, Bear's kind of in a mood, so we may be getting some barking out of him later. I hope not, but we'll see. He's just been, he's been acting up today, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but uh, Rogue One is a movie that fills the gap uh, between Episode 3, which is Revenge of the Sith, and Episode 4, A New Hope. And uh, so this is what it is. And um, I actually got this. It's kind of like a little box set. Um, this is actually the 3D version. Uh, sadly, no 4K. Sadly, no Dolby Atmos, no DTSX, no immersive format. Probably will come out later, I hope. Um, but, you know, they want you to buy it twice, so that's kind of frustrating. But, um, as you can see here, I, I, I normally keep this to Atmos and DTSX movies, and one of the things I do is I put together lists of Atmos movies. These are all on Blu-ray, and then down here, these are Atmos movies that are 4K only. So, what that means is if you were to buy Deadpool on Blu-ray, you would not get the Atmos format. Uh, same thing down here. These are DTSX movies in Blu-ray. And if you were to buy Battleship on Blu-ray or uh, Lone Survivor on Blu-ray, I don't think you get the DTSX uh, format. So that's something to look for. Uh, they don't, you know, they've been kind of staggering these things. And I, I think it's a way to get people to buy more movies. But anyway, so you guys can check that out. I'll put a link down below. Uh, but... With this movie, um, I actually had a mild disappointment with it. Uh, I had a little issue happen. It wasn't really anything to do with the movie itself. Uh, it was more of what something I was trying to do, and it just didn't work out. But I'll go into that later. And every time I seem to drop this thing. But um, this movie had a lot of zeros, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, you know, the zeros that this movie had were, were actually good zeros. Um, it had zero no effing ways. And I've talked about No Effin' Ways in my other video, um, San Andreas, and that movie had a lot of No Effin' Ways. And a No Effin' Way is essentially when something happens and you're just like, No Effin' Way. Uh, it's just too far beyond the realm of creative license and Hollywood. It's just straight out ridiculous. It's enough to be annoying. And, you know, I mean, granted, this is a space movie. There's some things that you, you know, you have to imagine might happen, but... In my mind, there were no, uh, there weren't any no effing ways. It was really good. Um, I, not a single time was I just shaking my head thinking, oh, come on, no way. Uh, I mean, there are times where like, oh, I could see how that could be or that couldn't be. But generally, uh, it was great. I mean, there was no, none of that stuff. And for a space movie, uh, for a science fiction movie, awesome. Great job on that. Um, there were also zero missed base opportunities. Um, in The Force Awakens, you know, uh, it's got some good base scenes. The base was better than in previous uh, uh, movies, but, it, you know, it had a planet exploding when it just wasn't wow. You know, it was just like, well, they really missed the boat on that. Um, not the case in this movie. There were no instances that I can personally think of that they either underdid it or didn't do it at all. Every time there should have been something, it was there and it was proper. Uh, so kudos on that. Uh, another good thing is there were no annoying characters. There was no Jar Jar Binks in this movie. Uh, there was uh, a neat character as, uh, as K2SO. And, you know, he's basically a robot and you kind of get an idea of what Sheldon Cooper would be like if he became a robot. Um, awesome, funny. Uh, it was there was some some slapstick in there, but it wasn't it wasn't overdone. It was just it was nice, um, good stuff. Okay, um, now I, if you guys can tell here, I've got uh, the SVS PB16 Ultra there, and I've got the uh, shoe or HSU VTF15 over there, and uh, I've done a video in the past um, where I talk about matching subs. And it's real important that you have the same subwoofers. Um, this is a 16-inch driver. That's a 15-inch driver. So it's not ideal. 
Okay, um, and for you guys that are wondering, uh, I'm going to be doing a full review of the PB16 Ultra once I get the second one in. I will not do a review of any subwoofer unless I have two, because you cannot hear it unless you have two. I know that sounds crazy to some people, but it takes down the standing wave effect and allows you to hear all of the bass. And when you have mixed subwoofers like this, the closer they are, the better. Because prior to this, I had the PB2000, PB, okay, 16 Ultra, and then I had the PB2000 over there. Um, PB2000 is a 12-inch driver. That's a 16-inch driver. I had some cancellations. You guys can see that in my video um, uh, before about adjusting distances and using, I tried to use the parametric EQ to fix it. Nothing fixed it. And the problem was I was running two different size drivers. So I pulled the VTF-15 out, plugged it in. Because they're a little closer in size, the response came out a little bit better. It's still not ideal. It's still not perfect. But anyway, I had these both cranked up and both going hard when I first watched this movie. I actually had it going a little too hard. But it was awesome. Um, I mean, the bass from this, my overall impression was yes, yes, this was good, awesome. In terms of bass for a space movie, for a, you know, a, a sci-fi movie, this was awesome. This is what it should have been the entire time. And, you know, granted, some of the movies were talking back in the 80s and stuff, but they did it so right in this. And so it's easily, uh, I don't know, it's easily the best sound and the best bass movie in the Star Wars franchise that I'm personally aware of. Um, I've I've heard them all, everything that I can buy and, and listen to. Uh, this movie just blows them all out of the water in terms of bass, in terms of sound quality. It was just perfect, uh, in, in, especially for the bass. There were, like again, no missed opportunities. You saw things that you've seen in the past in other episodes. Okay, and I, I wonder if you guys can figure out what I'm talking about here. But I'll just say you see things walking, and when you're seeing them walking, you're feeling it as they're walking. It's it's correct. And so if you guys can figure that out, go ahead and put it in the comments. But, I mean, just everything was just right. And again, no missed opportunities. Um, there was also great continuity to this. Uh, everything made sense. Everything added up. Um, you know, there might be some parts I'm not thinking about, but everything just kind of made sense. It it was a great, you know, transition between episode three and episode four. Uh, it, it just explained everything, and I don't know, they just did a really good job with it. And I, and, uh, I had a, a friend with me, Aaron, I'll talk about him in a minute. Um, he said, you know, they really respected the franchise, this, this go-around. So it was, you know, and he's a lot more into it than I am. Um, and so it's one of those things where it was just a very well done movie. Um, and I'm, re I'm really looking forward. I, I hope they release either an Atmos or a DTSX, uh, version of this, uh, along with 4k. They didn't do that now. Um, and I got the 3d copy. The 3d copy was good. Uh, but you know, they're waiting. So you'll buy it now and then buy it later, which I think is a little annoying. I guess that would be a complaint of mine about this movie is they just, didn't let you buy it, everything you wanted at the first part, but you know, that's the way they do things, I guess. Um, but, uh, so I, I hope they come out with a, with an immersive format for this movie. Cause I think it'll be amazing. Um, but yeah, easily the best sound of the franchise easily, especially with the bass, just amazing. Um, it was thick. It was well-placed. It was always appropriate. Um, there might be some people that might think it's maybe a little overdone, but I didn't think so. I think it was all appropriate for what you're seeing on screen. It all just came through. And I got to say, uh, power is a great thing to have with subs. Uh, you know, I know I could, I'm not going to do it. There's no way. I still have the PB16, or I'm sorry, the PB2000s. Uh, I could take these out and swap those out and just run the PB2000s. Not gonna do that because these things are heavy, um, but the the extra power that comes from this thing is just outrageous. And see, that's another difference between these subs. That's got 1,500 watts of RMS power. Okay, that's only got 350 watts. Okay, and I'm not saying anything bad about that sub. Okay, but what I'm saying is that power is awesome. 
So power is a great thing to have in subs. Um, yeah, I, I'm used to good bass, but I'm not used to bass hitting me so hard. It came through, and again, if you listen to like Nora Jones or something, it's not going to pummel you. It's going to be appropriate. But when a pummeling is called for, yes, awesome. So I can't wait to get the second one because that's going to make all the difference in the world. But anyway, um, and as far as like my my disappointment that I talked about earlier, um, yeah, I've got a friend of mine. His name's Aaron. He's from House of Haha, ha, and uh, he they design T-shirts and. Uh, you know, funny t-shirts and stuff like that. And so he's been following, you know, what I've been doing on YouTube and I've been encouraging him to get into doing YouTube stuff. And just like me, you know, we're both trying to figure out what works on YouTube, what gets views, what doesn't, what makes sense. And so anyway, so he, he's got that channel and we were going to try and do something. I set up the camera here and I was recording his reactions. Well, the problem is, uh, I got it all set up with the menu screen of the movie, and there's plenty of light in that, but when the actual movie was playing, it was just so dark, I actually lost all that footage. Because what happened was, the way he put it was, you only get one chance to see Star Wars for the first time. You only get one chance to, to see it for the first time. Once you've seen it for the first time, Every time, you know, you've already seen it before. There's no reaction. There's no emotion. So I want to get that reaction. And what he said to me uh, was, hey, you know, this Star Wars movie is coming out. I haven't seen it. And I'm willing to not see it purposely until I can see it on this. And I took that as quite a compliment. And so I'm like, all right. So I got it all set up. And I actually... I had a problem with this TV. Uh, I have a problem with the flashlighting. I actually got worse. And so in the dark scenes, the flashlighting kind of, it's a little too much. Um, so I actually have a replacement. I've got uh, the replacement. It's basically the same TV, but it's got, um, it'll do HDR and Dolby Vision and all that good stuff, which is cool. And so the night before, I got it all set up just to make sure I'm, I'm running through because I'm thinking, all right, tomorrow's the night we're watching it. And I'm like, you know, I better run through it just to make sure, just to make sure. And I have the 3D copy. So I plug it in and I go through and I'm watching it and I'm like, this isn't right. It was like I was seeing double vision. It was like I had drunk vision. It was the, the, the 3D was off on it. So <laughs> I had to switch out the new TV, put the old TV back and all that stuff to get it going. I, I mean, for a minute there, I thought maybe it was the movie that had a bad 3D encoding, but I tried everything. It was the new TV, which I mean, that kind of thing happens, you know? Um, so anyway, I ran through all that. Thought I got his reactions and I didn't, so that's annoying. Um, but anyway, he, he, you know, he was in agreement with me. This is a great movie, and uh, he'll probably do his own review on his channel and stuff. But, um, but anyway, again, if you guys have any interest in the Star Wars franchise, this movie is a definite buy. Um, you know, you may want to wait till later if they come out with 4K or or uh, the Amos version or DTSX version, whichever they're going to come out with. Um, but Overall, I, I can't stop gushing about this movie. Uh, to give you an idea, uh, my wife, I had to basically tape her eyelids open and strap her down to get her to watch it. She's not the biggest Star Wars fan. Like, she appreciates everything, but she's not, you know, a giant fan of it. So she wasn't super excited about watching it. Well, now that she's seen it, uh, she told me today, she's like, I cannot wait until we can watch that movie again. So I think that says volumes. I mean, you know, when someone's not into this movie franchise and they want to see it again, um, that's great. So I hope it sets a new precedent um, for this, this franchise. I hope they continue making movies this good because this movie was that good, at least in my opinion. It was just a great overall story. Everything made sense. The continuity was there. Um, you know, it, I don't know. You guys see it. You tell me what you think. I'm curious to get your feedback on what you guys thought of this movie and if you think it deserves the praise I'm giving it. Because, um, it, I don't know, I'm still just... I was excited to do this video because it was just so good. So, um, you know, hopefully you guys will feel the same. I'm, I'm curious. Uh, maybe I'm missing the mark big time on this. But, um, 
But anyway, guys, I'll put some Amazon links down below uh, for this movie. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, if you guys, uh, you, hey, and I want to say, guys, this isn't Flight, Fight Club. You can talk about it. You can share this video if you want or whatever. Um, you know, if you guys want other people to know about this or whatever, go ahead and put it in and uh, share it. Do whatever you want with it. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching and please subscribe.